right. I wasn't sure if uh, if that's 5:30 or because that's what uh, the nuclear blast gave me on time, so I wasn't sure. All right, so we we alive? We alive? Oh, I just I, I think I'm 45 minutes too late now. So. No worries, no worries. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on Radio Bloodstream uh, dot com, and I uh, have a Laura, Laura, the vocalist, the singer uh, from the Burning Witches streaming uh, via Skype today. How are you today? Hey, I'm all good. I'm trying to. Uh finish my to-do list for today but uh, all good <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh where are you calling from today laura eindhoven from where i'm sorry yeah it's from the netherlands so eindhoven netherlands. Is, uh, is a city in the netherlands yeah uh-huh so how's how's netherlands these days with this COVID thing um yeah they're loosening up slowly so things are getting better but um yeah I hope it goes a bit quicker. We'll see. They say every uh, few weeks they just take a look if it can be uh, quicker or not. Uh, you know, so it can also be slower in the worst case. <laughs> right. But they have now a planning to open things up. And uh, what I really, really miss is going to the gym. I actually normally would go like four times a week sometimes. Oh, really? And now I, I'm just not motivated. So oh. I'm kind of... Yeah, it's such, such a weird thing. So but I do have like another, you know, a lot of other hobbies and things I'm focusing on now. So that's why I'm uh, <laughs> I'm too late today <laughs> for this thing. Uh, I'm, co I'm trying actually to make it less of a mess because I have to do so many things now. So that's all okay, you know, I'm not bored. <laughs> so uh, the, the, uh, the question now is, so how did you keep yourself busy for the last year? You know, no tours, nothing going on. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I started some new new hobbies and some things I want to focus on. Um, I, I mean, until now, uh, music wise, I always really focused on being a good singer. And I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of at the moment, like almost at the level where I want to be. So I kind of don't really want to focus anymore on really being a better singer. I mean, of course, I want to be even better, you know, but it's just something I think that kind of happens naturally because I'm, I'm helping uh, other vocal students to, you know, to be a better singer. So, and I'm making covers and stuff like that. So that kind of helps me. And now I'm trying to focus on songwriting um, because I, I normally, you know, I only uh, in Burning Witches, I just, I get, I get the music, you know, and then I just write the lyrics and the, and the melodies. So I kind of already know know a bit about it. It's not like I'm totally new, but I just want to, again, like what I did with Focus, I want to get it to the next level, you know, so right. I'm going to focus on that. So that, that those are things. And I started a Patreon. I have to still, I have to do things for my Patreons, you know. I have to keep them a bit happy. So I'm working on, a, on all kinds of things. And... Um, yeah, I need I need time management. I need someone to tell me, hey Laura, you need to do this today, you know, because <laughs> I, I write down too many things and then I panic, kind of like that. Nah, not panic, okay? I don't panic, but I'm like, ooh, I'm not going to have it all finished. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm going to watch Netflix. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just really difficult for me. Yeah. So I'm, that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to uh, manage myself basically. <laughs> So, we're, we're, so obviously you're a very talented uh, singer. And uh, so where did you learn sing like this? Obviously you have some talent, as I said. You, so do you have a like a teacher or are you teaching yourself? You, where did you get this? Uh, incredible yeah, I voice? mean, I, I used to, uh, you know, when I was a bit younger at some point, I just decided I really, really wanted to be able to sing very well. I always enjoyed it, but I kind of, you know, had... Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't do so many things, you know what I mean? So I just um, started to take singing lessons and they were in uh, in groups because it was kind of, you know, I just, uh, I, I was still studying and I seriously, I was pretty young. I got married very young actually, but we just uh, married and everything was new and, you know, I couldn't really get private lessons, but group lessons were okay, you know, not too, not too expensive, I guess, so. I, uh, yeah, I sang together with people. That's how I started. And um, yeah, I, I just had a lot of different teachers because there was always some teachers were sick all the time or something. I don't oh. know what happened, but I had a lot of different ones. So it was kind of like good to give me a, a, you know, a broad idea, I guess. 
And then later I was actually very happy when I got individual classes. Yep. Um, later, when I went to a conservatory, like the, the metal factory. Um, so for years I didn't have it, but when I finally had that, it was so good for me because I got really stuck on some details, you know, that I just couldn't get further with. Um, so this really helped me. And uh, after that, I did another course <laughs> for, uh, yeah, another course actually also focused uh, for, for vocal coaches to, to be able to also to teach nicely, blah, blah, blah. I, I did a lot of stuff. And now I'm, um, sometimes I actually just look at some YouTube videos. In the beginning, I tried, but I could never really make sense of it because I, I didn't have enough. When I just started out, I kind of didn't have enough information already in my head. And enough experience to understand people teaching on YouTube because most of the time it's like, yeah, a little bit half-assed. You kind of miss a lot of information you need. And normally, you know, if you, yeah, good. I'm talking. I can talk on and on about this. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, we, uh, that, just... that's uh, that's the short the short <laughs> version. I mean, it would probably be shorter than that. But... Yeah, just for, just for those who join us, uh, I have Laura from uh, Burning, which is streaming. Uh, Skype calling from uh, Netherlands today, and uh, uh, the the question is the question is now how did you end up in uh, Burning Witches as a singer? Yeah, so um, well, obviously they needed a singer, so they went looking, and um, Sonia actually knew me already because she also lived in the Netherlands, and yeah, Burning Witches is from Switzerland, so. Uh, I was kind of lucky to know Sonia and I, we played together. We tried, uh, you know, we tried to tribute bands together, but it didn't really work out in the end. Uh, but that's okay. And uh, we still, you know, sometimes we, we just spoke to each other. We saw each other on concerts sometimes. And um, she knew what I was capable of, how, what, I, what I looked like, <laughs> what I sounded like. Uh, you know, that I actually like the old school stuff. So, um, yeah, she told about me and that's how it... Uh, yeah, it happened because they were really looking for the complete picture, like someone that was really into metal and yeah. also could sing and also looked, you know, the old school metal stuff also looked that way. And I actually were, was already, I seriously, for the first gig, because there was not much time, I just uh, took one of my old uh, costumes and, and that was it. <laughs> so awesome. it was easy. Yeah. So when when will be the next show you think? When was okay? Let's start with the last one. When was the last one, and when is it going to be the next one you think? Ooh, the last one was um, I think uh, 2020 in spring, mm. if I'm correct. It could Not be, that, yeah. yeah. No, wait, wait. A little bit later. Now it was later. Um, <clears throat> so right before COVID started, we had the release show slash festival show from uh, Dance with the Devil. And then it, it took a while and I think somewhere halfway summer or something, I think we had, we had five gigs uh, that were Corona proof. So that was pretty cool. Um, so that was it until then we didn't have anything. Yeah. And now it's just, uh, <laughs> actually we, we are going to do a release show the 28th of May. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah. yeah and for it's, the, it's for the new album. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. For the, for the new album so, so finally another show <laughs> so i was just i was just watching the well obviously obviously this is going to be the 28th of may that's the new new album is going to be released the witch of the north and uh, so you're going to promote this as a stream live you're going to stream live or what's the what's the what the, what's the idea what's great guys going to do um yeah um what we're going to do is it's a live stream and it's uh all organized and done by the walk and open air crew so it's pretty mm -hmm. cool wow. and it's also free to attend because it's awesome. like uh yeah it's it's a, a thing that gets support from from government i think or maybe from walk and themselves i don't really know how it is but wow. it's really cool it's just to uh yeah to, to help everyone out a bit oh, and they uh they were available on the release date, so that was really cool. <laughs> oh, brilliant! That that's uh, that's awesome. So I'm definitely putting my calendar, and everybody else as well. Don't make make sure you put in a calendar. Uh, follow the Burning Witches on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and obviously on the uh, um, website uh, Burning Witches. So the the album will be out on uh, May 28. Uh, Laura, she's the uh, lead singer. And uh, 
awesome looking girl so definitely we will have something you know to look at her. um uh, laura so you said you said something about you you doing uh, lyrics uh, in a band or is it just something sometimes at times you do or is it just uh, um who is responsible yeah. for the music and the uh, and lyrics in the band yeah i'm i'm the i'm definitely uh the, the one that writes all the lyrics sometimes someone gives me like an id or maybe a song title you know there's some pretty cool ideas coming from other people in the band like lala gave me sea of lies in the past and uh yeah for example you know so and the witch of the north was uh romana's uh, id after she wrote some some riffs that really sounded super vikingish so she gave me these, uh, uh, yeah, she gave me that as a as an idea. Hey, Laura, can you write a, a song about the Witch of the North? And I was like, uh, okay, well, what do you have in mind? You know, because when when someone tells me an idea, you know, I kind of want to know exactly what they mean. And the idea was they had this, you know, this cold, wintry landscape in mind and uh maybe druids and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to just research it a bit. And uh, I looked into the Norse myths, Norse mythology, and there is actually a witch of the north. So Is it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. So I was, that's why I asked, yeah, who is that, the witch of the north? I, you know, I didn't really know how to write it from the start of the ID, but all the puzzle pieces fell together. And we really wanted it to make also a, you know, a themed album like Hex and Hammer. So that's... Uh, yeah, and, how it started. And the song and, uh, and the music, who is responsible for the music in the band? Yeah, Romana. So, Romana. Uh, yeah, Romana just uh, write, is, is responsible. She writes the, the song structures and most of the riffs. And um, yeah, Larissa does most of the solos. And, you know, uh, Jay and La just do their thing. <laughs> I guess it, uh, they go it together into the rehearsal room and then uh, they just figure it out together. So. So Laura, you just guys, uh, you just girls, actually, sorry, the girls just released the uh, uh, video, pretty cool video for the for the North, uh, for the Witch of the North, yes. and uh, this is very exciting, you know, something, you know, uh, just put together these days when you know it's all kind of restrictions. How difficult was to put this thing together? Um, it was especially really annoying that the rules were changing all the time and you have to you know really keep an eye out on that yeah. to be sure that you had the, the right tests and uh every country has different rules about how old the test can be at mm. the time of entering the country and stuff like that yeah. so um you just have to figure a lot out because we had, you know i had to go from the netherlands to switzerland by train mm -hmm. because um yeah, we also needed to wait with buying the tickets and plane tickets are just way like are three times expensive if you have to buy it last minute. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I went by train this time and uh, yeah, then you travel also through Germany, of course. So you have to check Germany, Switzerland. Yeah, and then we went from Switzerland to Poland. So again, you cross a lot of borders. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> but for the rest, it was OK. I mean, I was really happy that I didn't have to be in quarantine. Hey, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, the evening has started, I see, at your place. Yeah, so um, the thing is, you know, uh, what was it? What did I want to say? Um, whoa, I forgot. No, yeah, whatever. It, 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 we, it just what uh, we've been talking about, we've been talking about the... Um, uh, you know how difficult was the the travel thing and uh, you have to you know every time you know cross the board you have yeah. to do some tests and stuff so it's uh, it's very annoying and they, you mentioned you know uh, it's yeah. part, it's very it's very hard to keep up with all the changes in the restrictions uh, area as well yeah. at the same time yeah, so the, so how long the actually lowest, yeah go ahead sorry the, the lowest point was when i had to get a test in switzerland and the guy that tested me you know they, they put like a long stick up your nose <laughs> yeah i know it's horrible and and he couldn't find the right place to put it in. Oh boy. And it was like, seriously, I think he took a minute and it uh. was really, really, really painful. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah. Well, in oh, yeah. in UK, you do it yourself basically. Uh, you don't have to. Ah, you know, okay. some, nobody was doing for you, so you do it yourself. You you have the instruction. There's like a little booth in instruction. Basically, I have to do it every week. You know, before I go to work, it's for oh. it's for free. So it's right on site oh. before I go to work. Tether test. Yeah. 
So that's and, well um, arranged. Yeah. And uh, but you have, uh, do you have like a job that you have to treat uh, uh, sick people or something? No, 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 no. I'm just <laughs> uh, no. I'm just in the car business. So uh, oh. uh, Land Rover. So that's that's where I'm mm -hmm. really you know that's that's not the 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 business I'm really into. That's where the money are for me. Uh, coming to the house not this radio thing all right so oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> anyway so how's uh, how's things not these days so when you so this will be this this live show uh this is streaming streaming on 28 of the for the released uh, 20th uh -huh. of the may release for the album so when will might be possibly see you live laura what do you think Ooh, i think uh hopefully early 2022 mm -hmm. so at the beginning yeah. at the probably spring or early spring yeah, and maybe at the end of this year already, mm -hmm. but um, then definitely it will be like separate gigs, you know, that probably are Corona proof. And yeah. I mean, there won't be any um, tours, I think, earlier than 2022. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, is there anything else I uh, would like to add before I let you go? I don't know. <laughs> is anything anything <laughs> I, I forgot just, to just ask? <laughs> Yeah, just keep an eye out on the stream, I guess. And uh, yeah, we hope to uh, see you there virtually. Yes, at least. Online. And uh, yeah, maybe, you know, uh, if you're curious, uh, check me out. I'm uh, doing some covers online also. All right, cool. On uh, YouTube and stuff like that. So that that's it, I guess. All right, brilliant. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Laura. Uh, so check it out, Laura. Uh, from uh, from Burning Witch is the uh, lead singer and it's cool voice, really cool voice. I like this voice. Sometimes the voice is, the, the female voice is pretty uh, too mm, noisy for me, but your voice is very nice and mellow and kind of nice to hear, really. Oh, and, cool, thanks. And um, uh, uh, so, <laughs> so I was like, I was like really uh, enjoying it. So because we, I'm just, uh, I just have the, Flight of Wildcars and the uh, Witch of the North available, ready soon we finish this uh, live stream and uh, to play, you know, for the for the first time here on RadioBlastStream.com. So cool. <laughs> All right, thank you very much uh, for uh, at least you know we have this virtual kind of interview today. Maybe next time we'll see each other on some kind of festival or tour, whatever will be the case. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. right. All right. Uh, Thank you very thanks. much, Laura. Take care and uh, Take care. see you soon on some of some of the soon. live shows. And I'll definitely will watch the live stream show on 20th of May when the uh, Burning Witches will release the album called The Witch of the North. And here we go. Thank you very much, Laura. T say, t uh, stay safe. I'll play. Which one should you play first, The Witch of the North or the Flight of Viker? Your pick. Mm. I think now you have to play the Witch of the North first. All right, we'll do. All right, thank you. Because, because See you ya. already made right. a really good announcement. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye-bye. All right, take
All right, yeah, there was a uh, burning witches, and we have a Laura live uh, streaming or live call from uh, from Netherlands today. Uh, we are Skype call. Thanks, Kaganti Technology. So at least we can hear each other or see each other, you know, if, with these uh, crazy times. And that was the Flight of the Valkyries, uh, one of the first singles released from the new album, which will be fully released on the this month on 28th. On top of it, that will be. Uh, live stream live stream so make sure you take a look burning witches on facebook page and you know uh, make sure you got the uh, free entry leave free live stream from the burning witches so it's pretty cool all right and it's already on uh and we're going to play the second one which was already released um a couple of days ago so the witch of the north the name of the album which will be released on 20th of may and on top of it, there is already burning, which is, you know, absolutely amazing video on YouTube channel. So make sure you check this one out. Here he is, the burning witch of the North. Just the witch of the North, the name of the album.
Radio Blood Street 24 7 worldwide. Yes, exactly. We are listening to Radio Bloodstream here on the uh, Facebook page of Radio Bloodstream. And we are streaming live from Liverpool, the exact from Witness tonight. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, Laura, it was a cool interview and she got incredible voice. So definitely love this band already. They uh, started a Believe or Not in 2017. Already released, this will be the fourth album, full full line of fourth album on uh, the May 28th. And that will be a live stream, live release stream uh, to back this up as well. So make sure you like them and subscribe for the event all right guys thank you very much uh, keep listening radioblastream.com and um, yeah maybe see you in one of the next live shows here on facebook page uh, check out uh, our youtube channel as well where all the latest uh, uh, interviews as well and uh, take care stay safe and i'll see you soon bye bye <laughs> see ya cheers <laughs>